So obesity is a major problem in Canada. In fact, something like one in four Canadian adults and as many as one in 10 children are either overweight or obese. But why? Well, we tend to look at lifestyle factors, diet and exercise as playing a role, and of course they do. But haven't you ever met somebody who just never seems to gain any weight? And surely you've met many others who so much as look at a cheesecake and it goes right to their thighs. Everything else being equal, it really does seem like some people are predisposed to obesity, while others simply are not. Now, obesity is visible on the outside, but the real story is inside, in our brains. By controlling the amount of calories we take in, and the relative amounts that we either burn or store as fat, our brain is able to keep our uh, body weight hovering around some preferred constant, a uh, set point. The brain uses a hormone called leptin as a sort of fuel gauge in this equation. Leptin, you see, is produced by our fat cells in proportion to how much fat they have stored. The brain is able to watch the levels of leptin in the blood and adjust your appetite or your metabolism to keep your fat levels hovering around the set point that's right for you. But where does the set point come from? Well, genetics play a role, certainly. But the obesity epidemic has exploded in recent decades, and our genes just don't change that quickly. To find out why, we have to look outside of ourselves and ask, what out there has changed in recent decades that might explain things? And one possibility is the chemicals we're exposed to. I study a chemical called bisphenol A, or BPA for short. BPA is a component in plastics. It's found in plastic water bottles and other food containers and many surprising places you might not even expect. About 90% of Canadians have BPA in their system at any given moment. BPA is an endocrine disruptor. Chemically, it mimics hormones that our body produces naturally and disrupts the processes of homeostasis and development that they normally regulate. And disruptions to development are especially problematic because they have a way of snowballing into bigger and longer lasting effects later on. It's a really a time of great vulnerability. So to study the vulnerability of the developing brain to BPA, I've created a model in which pregnant and nursing mice are exposed via their diet, just like us, to BPA at low doses similar to what we're exposed to. When we look at their offspring as adults, we find the female offspring are predisposed to obesity, while the males are predisposed to type 2 diabetes. And I've studied the development of this in depth, and what I found is that BPA actually acts on the brain's appetite circuitry just as it's wiring itself up, permanently disrupting its ability to sense leptin, and in so doing, programming an obese set point. Now, the hazards of BPA to humans remain uncertain, but my research gives us reason for concern and points us to a new possible culprit in our obesity epidemic. Thank you.